If you're a Linux user, you might have started your journey with Debian-based distros. Everybody does. I myself started learning Linux using Kali Linux, which is a Debian-based distro. Debian-based distros are easy to learn, easy to manage, and of course, their command line interface is much easier than that of Arch. But what's the difference between Arch and Debian-based distros, and why do hackers love using Arch Linux? Should you use Arch Linux so you can finally say, I use Arch, by the way? Before we jump into that, let's briefly introduce Arch Linux. Arch was created in 2000. 2002 by Judd Vinet as an alternative to other Linux distributions that he felt were either too complex or too opinionated about how a system should be structured. Vinet wanted to create a Linux distribution that offered flexibility, speed, and simplicity. Arch was originally intended for experienced users who were comfortable with the command line and manual configuration. Arch follows the KISS principle, which means it tries to avoid unnecessary complexity in the system while giving users complete control over their software and environment. By the way, KISS stands for Keep It Simple Stupid, not what you might be thinking. So that was a brief introduction to Arch Linux. Comment down below if you're already an Arch user. Arch-based Linux distros are quite different from Debian-based distros like Kali Linux or Debian itself. One of the biggest differences I noticed when I installed Black Arch for the first time was the Package Manager. Package Managers are the tools used by Linux systems to install software. If you're a Linux user, you may be familiar with APT, which is the Package Manager commonly found in Debian-based distros. Just like Debian, Arch also has a package manager called Pacman. However, Arch Linux comes with minimalist packages. Most Arch distros come with only the essential tools, and some even lack a desktop environment. You have to set everything up yourself. Many hackers, developers, and advanced Linux users tend toward using Arch Linux for several reasons. First, hackers love Arch because of its simplicity and control. As mentioned earlier, Arch is based on the KISS principle, meaning the system is built from the ground up with minimal interference and bloat. Hackers love this because it allows them to start with a clean slate and install only the software they need. Arch gives you complete control over every aspect of your operating system. Hackers appreciate the ability to configure and tweak every part of their system, from the kernel to the desktop environment to suit their specific needs. Customizability is another cool feature of Arch Linux. Arch doesn't come pre-configured with a specific desktop environment or set of utilities, which is highly appealing to hackers who prefer to install only what they need and avoid unnecessary software. The process of setting up Arch requires manual configuration, which can be a rewarding experience for those who want to learn the ins and outs of Linux. This process gives hackers the ability to customize their system, install only essential tools, and keep their environment lean and fast. The Arch Wiki is one of the most comprehensive and detailed sources of documentation available for any Linux distribution. It's a crucial resource for hackers who need to solve problems, install complex tools, or set up specialized environments. Arch has a large and active community of users and developers, many of whom are highly knowledgeable. This community often shares tips, scripts, and customizations that hackers can leverage in their own setups. Another cool feature of Arch Linux is the AUR, or Arch User Repository. The AUR is a community-driven repository that contains a vast collection of user-submitted packages, including many hacking tools, security utilities, and niche software. Hackers often rely on the AUR to find or create specialized tools that aren't available in other distros' official repositories. Because Arch requires a manual setup and configuration, hackers often learn a great deal about the inner workings of Linux and the system they're using. This is valuable not just for maintaining their own systems, but for understanding security vulnerabilities, exploits, and how to protect or break into systems. So these are a few reasons why hackers love Arch. But now the question arises, should I start my journey with Arch Linux? If you're new to Linux, it's generally not recommended to start with Arch because it's more complex and harder to learn. Instead, you should start with any Debian-based distro like Kali Linux or Ubuntu. However, if you're already a Linux user and want to level up your skills, you can certainly go for Arch Linux. That's my personal opinion, but some people have started their Linux journey with Arch Linux. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you about Arch Linux today. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a detailed video on Arch Linux installation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.